Hello again, everybody. Um, why is Fred massaging my back now? Me and Fred are here for another writing tip video. Oh, he's licking my ears now. That is sexy. Fred, what are you doing? Okay. Um, man, he really is just distracting. <sighs> yeah, yep, your paw's still on me, Fred. There we go. Okay, um... So anyway, so today what I want to talk to you about um, is probably the second most important thing besides just sitting down and typing. And that is finishing. You have to finish things. If you don't finish stuff, you're... I, I, I hate when people throw the terms around, well, you're not a writer if you don't, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's kind of the case here. Um, you have to finish what you're doing as quickly as possible. And I say as quickly as possible because the longer you wait on something, the more doubt you're going to have. And it's not doubt like you don't believe in yourself it's doubt in the story you're telling and that gets i guess i could use problematic here because the second you start thinking about oh man i wonder if oh no what if this character does this and oh but if, I, if that character does this and this part i already wrote isn't gonna oh man and then it's just this roller coaster and you'll be sitting in front of your computer or in front of your notebook and realize you've spent your whole time that you set aside writing worrying about a problem that technically doesn't exist yet um so that's the first thing the second thing is if you finish a draft and then put it aside for a little bit I always say put it aside for a little bit because if you're going to read it right after um, if you are the typical writer type you're going to hate everything you read so put it aside and then like some people do it for a couple weeks some people do it for a couple months some people do it for a day or two um, you're okay Fred is just needing attention from everybody right now, no matter how he can get it. Um, but that way, when you pick up the, your story, it'll, when you read it, it'll almost read like somebody else is telling you a story. And that makes you not only the creator of this, but it also makes you someone who is just going to sit there and enjoy um, the story. And you could read it from a reader's perspective. So that is really helpful. Again, um, most books you pick up will tell you to finish the things you write. Um, and it's one of those, um, I, I don't want to say an unwritten rule because I just told you it was in a bunch of books, but like it is a universal truth, let's say. Um, the more things you finish, the more confident you feel as a writer. If you have a bunch of stories that um, you have a beginning and a middle, but you never came up with an end, or a lot of times people who write stuff out of order, which um, I don't recommend, but I don't frown upon. It's however you feel the best way to do it. Um you end up getting like this uh, complex that you can't finish anything. And um, writers, for some reason, when they say things like that, um, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So like if there's a writer who's like, oh man, I could only write great stuff on Tuesday. Guess what? Every other day throughout the week, that writer will write shit or nothing at all because that writer has told themselves that they can only write good stuff on Tuesday. Your your mind is a very powerful tool, very powerful ally, but could also be the thing that absolutely destroys everything you do. <clears throat> so you got to be careful 
what like rules you set up for yourself and um, the things you say like that. Don't start editing stuff until you are done. Like finish what you're doing. And then if you want to go back and proofread it, go ahead and go back and proofread it. Um, and if you don't like the way something's going in it when you're going back over it, make a note. Don't change it. Just make a note of it off to the side. Um, because a lot of times when you're writing something and you're in the zone and you're going through, you set stuff up. There's been times when I've gone back and changed something when I was reading through it and then got like three more chapters in and realized, oh man, I just changed all that stuff. And all that was, was just to set this thing up right here. And then I'm like, do I go back and fix it or do I just change this now? Like, and it becomes like a bit of a cluster. So finish your stuff, wait a little bit. Go over, proofread it. Don't make any actual changes that aren't notes. Like, just make notes off to the side. When you're done reading it, go over your notes, and then you can decide if you want to rewrite or do anything like that. But um, I can't stress enough how important it is for your work, for your psyche, for your creativity to finish everything you write before you start editing. And I don't even care if it's like, oh, I spelt the wrong two lines up. I should go, nope, don't fix it. Leave it alone, leave it alone, and just keep going. But yeah, so sit down and write every day. Just make sure you do it and um, finish what you're doing and don't start editing anything until it's done. Um, and that is the tip. So let me know down below if you have any questions um, or thoughts about it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.